as my friend Carl Hancock would say, today ahead, though dimly lit, we see through the possibility of the coming of the day. We would like to welcome into the hall our Brooklyn United Marching Band. We welcome the artist and we welcome the maker of things, the Brooklyn United Marching Band.
making this sort of magical place for us, the performers. I want to thank Avery Hoffman for inviting me to participate in the Armory's residency program. And this is the long, long, long uh, uh, process of thinking through uh, what Avery asked me to imagine. Would you be interested in coming to the Armory and working at the Armory and thinking about what you might do here? And this exhibition, uh, The Shape of Things, is uh, the end result of many years of thinking and talking together. And so to Avery Hoffman, I'd like to give a big shout out of thanks. like this just not, you know, uh, you know, exist by uh, uh, love alone. It takes a lot of uh, uh, dough to fill, to fill this place. And uh, the Ford Foundation was really wonderful in giving us great seed money. Uh, the Warhol Foundation, of course, was very, very important to us. And we have to thank them, along with all of our other uh, sponsors. Of course, we have to thank, you know, the artist. And I want to thank my collaborators who helped make this community possible. Uh, and they are um, Jennifer Sue, Laron Brooks, Kenyon Adams, and Tanya Savaratnam. And you're going to hear just a bit from each of them, uh, beginning now with Kenyon Adams saying a word about this moment. Thank you. Uh, it's, a, it's a weighty time. Um, so I'm glad that all of you um, made the choice to be here today and be in a space with us, hold space with us. You know, I came out of 2020 really uh, thinking more than ever and convinced more than ever that the goal of justice, the goal of liberation work is actually, is joy, right? It's something uh, that may be found in solitude, something that might be found in repose or leisure if, if it is not disrupted, if it is not inhibited for certain bodies. So I've been coming into this with a, an urgency to imagine future sites, habitats, ways of being in the body which are actually sustainable. And I find some of the work of liberation to not be sustainable. So I brought along with me uh, some contributors that I, I hope you'll meet today. That they, they range in their work uh, on, through imagining the body and sites as, as, as far ranging as the cover of Vanity Fair uh, magazine images there to the actual uh, space station, International Space Station. So I hope you'll meet Dr. Danielle Wood from Space Enabled at uh, MIT uh, Media Lab. I hope you'll meet Kayla Farish, the wonderful dance maker uh, who will be here contributing. And I hope you'll dive into the world of Dario Calmez as well, uh, who's contributing, and all the many contributors here. Um, and let's all keep pushing for diversely sustainable futures. than it is when Carrie gathers her friends. As one of the co-curators working on this project this past year, it's been a challenge at times to imagine where and how we'd be at this point in the future slash present. But I'm really moved to be arriving now and in this company. During COVID, most of the times that I've physically gathered in groups have been driven by loss and pain, either in private grief or in public protest and vigil. To convene this weekend, in construction and hope is not only a clarion call, but a healing. To bring interdisciplinary creatives together to decolonize systems of knowledge is resistance. Welcome. Hello, everybody. I, I just want to keep it kind of simple. Um, I walked into this convening yesterday thinking about uh, red tape. And as Years back, every party I went to, every museum opening I went to, it could be Uptown, it could be Chelsea, it could be the Lower East Side. When I saw a Greg, I thought of home. I knew I was grounded. And we leaned on him, I leaned on him, you know. And I think this is a moment that we each need to lean on each other for support. We each need to lean on each other 
to figure out how to move forward. And I think Carrie and I think everyone at the Armory, I think my fellow curators here for organizing this moment, which we're all here together, left and right in front of you. We're gathered here to lean on each other. So as we move forward, just keep that in mind. And thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Tanya Selvaratnam. I'm the mini version of Tanya. You'll see the big version on that screen in the cyclorama, which I hope that you'll be able to watch the whole 40 minutes of. Um, I am honored to have worked with Carrie on multiple projects for the last 13 years. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. When Carrie asks anything, I say yes. Probably the only person who can ask you to do anything, and I will say yes. Um, today I will be speaking with Lisa Cortez and Farai Chidea at 2.30 p.m., so I hope that you will come and experience that. We'll be hearing a reporter's mixtape from Farai, a veteran reporter, and Lisa Cortez, the phenomenal filmmaker. Um, we'll be sharing visual inspiration, so please join us. And I'm just so grateful for the space for us to be together to experience art, to create joy spaces in addition to safe spaces. So thank you for contributing to that joy. Have a good day. I think, you know, bringing uh, my friends together, uh, presenting before my friends and my colleagues is probably one of the greatest honors that an artist can really have. And so, again, thank you to my, my, my family and my friends, people that have traveled near and far in order to be with me over the course of this day and over the course of this next uh, uh, couple of days. And to my family, of course, who's here, to my husband for being, putting up with me, to my wonderful collaborators. Oh, he's the first one to come. He knows what this means. My husband, Jeff Moon. So it's really great. Um, there are a couple things that I just kind of want to share with you. Um, we have tonight, today, of course, ahead of us, a wonderful group of writers, and poets, and scholars, intellectuals. Uh, ben Jealous is here. Uh, 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 Zara White is here. And, uh, many just sort of wonderful thinkers. And then in the evening, there's a really great concert with uh, Terry Lynn Carrington and uh, the fantastic Lisa Fisher, uh, a concert that I've dreamt about for many, 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 many years. I'm really happy to be presenting them, and I'm hoping that some of you will join us this evening uh, and, of course, throughout the day. I work with a lot of people. I've worked with a number of people over, over, the, over the years, a number of extraordinary artists. And, uh, and I'm always sort of listening Often I should put together projects because I'm very curious about what other people are doing, what other artists are doing, and I need to hear them. I need to uh, hear them and to understand their practice, and sometimes, of course, I need to also present them to share, to share what I've learned about their extraordinary talents with others. A few years ago, maybe 10 years ago now, when the great Deborah Willis uh, convened a major conference in Paris, uh, Deborah has been another one of those uh, people, persons who's managed to, get, managed to gather uh, dozens and dozens of artists for important conversations both here in New York, uh, in Florida, uh, across the country, and in Europe as well, and in Africa. An extraordinary one. She put together a conference in, uh, in, in Paris, and uh, a young woman walked out on stage and I knew that, that I was hearing something really special. And I knew that I was hearing uh, the voice of a woman that would be taking us into the future in a very unique and prominent way. And I'd like to introduce her. Uh, she's, her name is Aja Monet, the poet Aja Monet. And she's going to be performing with the great trumpeter, uh, Dick Griffin. Dick, if you'd like to start, please do, and Aja will join you.
Because their anger is not ours to carry. Their bullets or brokenness. Because hopeless is not our horizon. Because healing is a duty and obligation. Because God is a holy action. A woman who changes with weather because in between we dance. Because, because times are hard and we are timeless. Because we cherish the groove and ground, we walk on water and wishes well worn. Because we suffer without defeat, refusing to be destroyed. Because we miracle and magic, charm and spell. Because we forgive, but never forget. We know, we know justice isn't determined by a judge. Because karma never dies. For the wizards and ways of our defiance, visions of our rising, risen, raised selves, Overcoming grace, fire spitter tongues, wise as rickety rocking chairs, suffering salt and sand skies. For the flowers that bloomed in midnight scars, how we suffered and sought a north star. When there was no light, we glowed. We glowed and sparked this rejoice, this righteous delight, this reunion, a longing to be held, the endless embrace. We got a cause, we got a cause to take joy in. How we weathered, how we weathered and persisted, tenacious, no stone unturned, moon shining, shared laughter, reminiscing on first times, mistakes, and unrequited loves, playful, fresh, kinfolk codes of cool, calm, and copacetic, how we weathered, how we weathered, how we witnessed the horror of mankind and did not become that which horrified us. Writings and Music by Greg Tate, Harlem When It Sizzled, 1982, Talking Heads, Grooves from the Heart of Darkness, 1983, Stagall Lee vs. The Proper Negro, Eddie Murphy, Wynton Marsalis, and Prince, 1984, Ture Kunda, 1985, Black Rock Coalition Manifesto, 1985, Yo Hermeneutics, Hip Hopping Toward Post-Structuralism, 1985. Cult Nats Meet Freaky Deke, 1986. The Invisible Black Writer, My Amputations, by Clarence Major Fiction Collective, 1986. Black Metropolis, Upholding Sugar Hill's Radical Tradition, 1987. I'm white. What's Wrong with Michael Jackson, 1987. Public Enemy, Homies on the Range, 1988. Public Enemy, The Devil Made Him Do It, 1988. 1987 Black Metropolis, Race, Clash, and Culture, Rebirth of a Nation, 1988. Beyond Outrage, 1988. Hip Hop Nation, it's Like That, Y'all, 1988. Langston Hughes, A Genius Child Comes of Age, 1988. Eric B. and Rakim, Titty Boom Rooney, John michel Basquiat, Flyboy and the Buttermilk, 1989. A Thang's Past, 1990. Black Like Who, Love and the Enemy, 1991. The Afrocentric Cinema of Julie Dash, 1991. Chuck D, All Over the Map, 
1991. Altered Spade, Race Mutation Theory, 1991. Critical Reflections, 1992. Flyboy and the Buttermilk, Essays on Contemporary America, 1992. Seeing for Miles, 1993. What is Hip Hop? Women in Love, 1993. My Darling Gremlin, Play, 1993. Above and Beyond Rap's Decibels, 1994. Black Like B in Jean-Michel Basquiat by Richard Marshall, 1994. Born to Dyke, 1995. Born to Dyke, The Afterbirth, 1995. Generation Next, or The Future of Bad Hair, 1997. Too Deep for Anger, 1998. Blood on the Leaf Opus, number one, CD, 1999. Californication, 1999. Hours, 1999. Black Sex Y'all Liberation and Bloody Random Violets, 2003 CD. Epiphanies, 2003. An Interview with Ramelzy, the Icon Class Samurai, 2004. Midnight Lighting, Jimi Hendrix and the Black Experience, 2003. Everything But the Burden, What White People Are Taking from Black Culture, edited by Greg Tate, 2003. Not April in Paris, 2004. If you can't dazzle them with your brilliance, then baffle them with your blizzluth, 2005. More than post-human, rise of the mojo sexual cotillion burnt, cotillion, burnt sugar orchestra, CD, 2006. Black body radiation, 2006. In Praise of Assholes, 2007. Michael Jackson, The Man in Our Mirror, 2009. Making Love to the Dark Ages, Burnt Sugar Orchestra, CD, 2009. Gil Scott Heron, RIP, 2011. Marsha Ambrosia, can Bring, the R&B, 2011, Black Artist Group in Paris, Aries, 2011. All You Needs is that Negro City Burnt Sugar Orchestra, 2011. The Poetics of Newark, 2011. Black Ontology, Now Black Dark Matters, and Meeting Lady Gaga Challenge, 2011. Top 10 Reasons Why So Few Black Folk appear down to Occupy Wall Street 2017, say it loud, tracing a populist history of black avant-garde from James Brown to Kamasi Washington and Black Lives Matter 2017, the sex lives of famous black people 2012, on John Coltrane's offering live at Temple University 2014 to Pimp a Butterfly 2015. The Freedom Principle, Experiments in Art and Music, 1965 to now, 2015, N.E.W., New, 2015. Miles Davis at Newport, 1955 to 1975, The Bootleg Series, Volume 4, 2015. How Black Lives Matter Changed Hip Hop and R&B, 2015. On Mike Todd's Hustlers Convention, 2015. On a biography of Henry Grimes, 2016, Flyboy 2, The Greg Tate Reader, 2016, Prince, Prince, a eulogy, 2016. Everything's Beautiful, 2016, Tendrick Lamar's Damn in the soundtrack to the Renaissance and Resistance, 2016. Chuck Berry, the double helix of rock and roll, 2017. LA, 1992, How Race Riots Have Changed America, 2017. Four, four, four. It's not an apology, 2017. Oh my goodness, we knew 
We knew we lost somebody special, somebody enormous when we lost Greg Tate this week. And I knew that it would be just important. I just wanted to know the titles. I just wanted to know what he had spent his time, his energy, his effort working on, building, imagining. A writer, a critic, a poet, a producer, an enormous uh, man that we lost just the other day. And we knew that uh, he would be here this weekend. There would be no doubt that he would be here this weekend in it, enjoying it, critiquing it, looking at it, digging it, and we miss him. And so I'm going to ask you all just right now to stand for a moment of silence in honor of our dear friend, please come out and join me, all presenters, to stand for a moment of silence for one minute uh, in honor of this great man, this great cultural maker and producer who has, uh, who has gone to the other side, in honor of Greg Tate, a moment of silence. For great age, we stand, we honor you, we miss you, we adore you. And this day is made in your honor. Go enjoy the day, and we will see you later. Thank you so much for coming.